Branch judges have dropped a long-running investigation into the shooting down of a plane carrying the former Rwandan president, Juvenal Habir E. Moda. His death in 1994 was a trigger of the genocide. A French inquiry began four years later at the request of relatives of the French crew members who died. A judge accused two sea rebels, led by the current president, Paul Kagame, of the attack. Last warrants were issued for a number of people close to him. The charges were dropped on 21 December. A judicial czar said on Wednesday, French prosecutors had recommended in October the charges be dismissed because of insufficient evidence against the suspects. Lawyers far happier in Mona's widow, Echo, have told the ethnos agents of the plaintiffs in the case would appeal against the decision. We have to interpret this decision by French judges as a form of resignation faced with a political context, which prosecutors did not know how to fight. Lawyer Philippe Malbec said, Rwandan authorities have never sought to help bring the truth to light. The plane carrying Mr. Happy Early Mollet was shot down by a missile in the April 19, 1994, triggering the Rwandan genocide in which more than 800 0002 seasoned moderate Hutus died. Mr. Happy Early Mona Hutu, who had signed a peace deal with Tutsi, rebels was flying into the capital, Kigali, with his Burundian counterpart, Cyprian Adayumir, when a missile brought the plane down, killing all on board. In 2006, French judge Jean Louis Brody Arley alleged that Mr. Kagami who can let the IPF rebels have uttered the attack. Mr. Brutley Hardy issued last warrants against several of his aides. The investigation was a major source of tension between France and Rwanda. President Kagame described France, which supported the former Hutu regime of having played a direct role in the genocide. Relations between the two countries later improved. In 2012, the report by the French judge, who succeeded Mr. Brody, he cast a doubt on the idea that the rebels had shot down the plane and suggested that Hutu extremists could have been responsible. An inquiry by Mr. Katmas government said the missile that brought down the jet had been fired from an army camp controlled by Hutus. 1994 France sends troops to Rwanda as part of United Nations led mission. Rwanda later accuses France of protecting genocide suspects. 2006 French judge accuses two deceased, including President Paul Kagame of the 1994 Happy Early Mona killing. Rwanda breaks diplomatic ties. 2009 Rwanda joins Commonwealth. Restores diplomatic ties with France. 2010. French President Nicolas Sarkozy visits Rwanda, admits France made mistakes in 1994. 2011. Mr. Kagame visits Paris, says it is time to leave history behind. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company tour. Show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Awa phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world, who support Huawei success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported, but it was met with some criticism among China's social media users. 
who claimed it was discriminatory, who are way full owners are being offered other enticements tour. They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. See in Beijing. Bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS. T. Co. Q. X. L. 1. 9. Y. P. Q. L. Pick. Twitter. Com. Soccer. Lof. End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpada Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a lead misman, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on year on. Between 2000 and my and 2014, they also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive. Since her arrest, two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might interview in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing, what's good for national security? I would certainly interview if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. I use it for ends other than the pursuit of justice. Foreign Minister Christy of Freeland said, the United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group and pushed back being six air strikes in Somalia. Four air strikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28. It said in a statement, "This were the deadliest air attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when." The United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of air strikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in air strikes. Since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined, the latest strikes bring to at least far to the number carried out in Somalia so far this year, compared with 35 recorded in 2017. The United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti, from where it launches attacks on the militants. Mr. Trump gave the United States military greater authority in March 2017 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since 18 special 
forces soldiers and fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu. In 1993, a battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down. No civilians were killed in the latest airstrikes.